This is Fun on Chloe, a lake at an altitude of 650 metres in the Carnedi, the eastern part of the Snowdonia Mountains. The lake's name means Well of the Moon. There are many opinions as to why, some of which involve pagan rituals of viewing the moon's reflection. This is a very special lake for its mosses and lichens, with the richest known collection of alpine lake mosses in Wales. These mosses are thought to have been more widespread in Britain at the end of the last ice age, but they have retreated to a few relic sites as the climate has gradually warmed. They survive at Fun and Floyer because of the very special combination of water, temperature, shade, nutrient levels, pH and sunlight provided by the rocky lake margin. Chief among the rare mosses of Fun on Floyer is the beautifully metallic Muhlenbeck's thread moss, Brian Muhlenbecki. This is one of only two UK populations south of Scotland, the other one being in a lake just across the mountain ridge. The moss is scattered around the edge of Fun on Floyer on boulders and every so often a tuft gets washed downstream and found a new colony on the rocky outflow stream. These new colonies never seem to survive for longer than a few years though and the two mountain lakes are key to the survival of this moss in Wales. As well as the Brian Muhlenbecki, there are various other very rare mosses and lichens growing at Fun on Floyer. This is striate hormos, Hedwigia striata, which is known from only one other site in Wales and only a handful of other sites in Britain. This is the only boulder in Wales on which capillary thread moss, Pterogynandrum filiforme, is currently known. Tarn Lecanora lichen, Lecanora acariana, is another one of the specialities of the lake. The majority of its world population is in Scandinavia and there are only six known British sites. A full survey of Fanon Floyer revealed the lichen growing on just 24 boulders here and its other Welsh colonies even smaller. A third Welsh site in the Rhinog Mountains went extinct in the late 19th century, when the lake it grew next to had its water level raised to provide water for the town of Barmouth. The fate of Tarn Lecanora helps to explain why these mountain lake mosses and lichens are so rare. There's something very special about the fluctuating water levels, wave splash and boulder strewn margins of a natural mountain lake, and this ecology is easily broken if water levels are kept high by damming or dropped during the building of a dam. Mosses and lichens that survive in a handful of relic sites are much more vulnerable to a one-off change than widespread species. And once they've gone, they're unable to recolonize. Fun on Floyer is one of few mountain lakes in Wales which has not been dammed. Take Llyn Idwell, for example. There's a wall which keeps the water at a relatively constant level and the same is true at most of the other mountain lakes in Wales. The striate hormos that we saw at Fun on Floyer was discovered new for science at Llyn Edwell in the 19th century, but now it has gone and the dam seems the most likely cause of its loss there. The mosses and lichens of natural mountain lake margins would probably have been more widespread in the past, when the climate was colder and lowland lakes would have been as cold stressed as mountain lakes are now. Muhlenbeck's thread moss evolved to cope with a combination of cold, water and ice and would once have played a major role in the moss-dominated lake margin flora. This mossy mar margin supports insects that feed fish and birds and some mosses colonise bare soil and slow down erosion. So lakeside mosses and lichens are critical to the lake ecosystem. If climate change continues and the mountain lakes get warmer, it seems likely that the mountain lake mosses will die out but we can at least give them a fighting chance by not damming their few remaining sites. We never know quite what the future will bring, so conserving all elements of the lake margin flora will protect our ecosystems for the future, under whatever climate arrives. <laughs>